I think we are live. Let me check. Let me check for a quick second. Do 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 do. <laughs> what am I, folks? Where am I? There, right there. Yeah, we're live. That's that's right. All right. Uh, it's been another full year of WHPW right here on YouTube. I'm Tommy Maroon. Thanking you for. Hanging out with me throughout this time. It's been another successful season, that's to say the least. Another very successful year. 1,113 uploads as of now. Hopefully we'll see some um, detailed statistics. I'm looking at what's happened over the past year. Um, right here. Yeah, I significantly increased subscriber count, but we'll get to that in a bit. First off, we're going to talk about the Cleveland Browns because the Cleveland Browns are, you know, playing like gods out there. Joe Flacco is unbelievable. I love e Joe Flacco. Sports. It's in the game. Excuse me for one second. It's all EA loud. Sports is in the game. Where is it? Where is it? There, right there. There we go. <laughs> Um, hold on a minute. Just need to grow it out a little bit. All right. So, yeah, the Browns are in the playoffs, as you know by now. The Cleveland Browns are doing unbelievable out there. I can't complain. I really cannot. I mean... Think about it, they're in the playoffs for the first time since the COVID season. It's really unbelievable. It really is. I can't believe it. Browns are just doing fantastic. Yes, sir. Woo-wee. And, of course, before we continue with other stuff, I'd just like to congratulate Coach Madison, James Madison. He just won his 100th game ever as head coach of the Highland Hornets. No other man deserves it more than he does. He's a really good man. Everybody loves him. And who can blame him? Heads, what the heck? And it didn't work. And we got the ball. I hate getting the ball to start off the game. We are unbeaten. I know I've tried this game so many times in the past. <laughs> Mainly because I'm not good at Madden, but still. I always forget it. Emulation always goes a little bit slower whenever you're live. Usually it works perfectly. You know what? We're not going to do Madden. We're going to get out. Close window. Do you want to stop the current emulation? Of course I do. We're going to do Mario Golf. What? Why not? Come on. <laughs> who, who else loves Mario? You know, we're going to have everything right here. I start off the 2023 year. Where? Let's look. 380 some odd subscribers. So there was that one to be our good pal Yoshi. Oops, I'm left handed. How could I possibly forget? Yeah, I'm left handed. I don't know if you knew that or not. Let's do doubles. Stroke play, match play, stroke play, what the heck. And, yeah, why not Mario? Intermediate against uh, Luigi, no, Birdo and Luigi. Where shall we go? Uh, cheap, cheap falls, why not? Excuse me for one second. Just need to get my water bottle. How's that? What do you call it? That many subscribers. Ooh, good hit, Yoshi. Yoshi's doing something you shouldn't really do in golf, and that's step into it. I was taught to never step into it. I played golf years ago. My clubs are very small. No, Birdo, you can't win this. Of course, you're all paying attention to the, what do you call it? Miami game, the Miami... Oh, Baltimore game. Baltimore's getting the ball right now. I hate the Ravens. 
I pray to God that the Dolphins can come back. It hasn't really been that good for the Ravens. Or the Dolphins, rather. 28-13. A lot of things aren't going their way, including, I believe, a crucial interception and crucial fourth down given up. Huberto and Mar Burton Luigi still yet to get on the green. Ooh, that was good. I'm gonna have to putt this one from downtown. If I could only see. Whoa, whoa, whoopsies. Sorry about this, just need to see this. <laughs> Come on, Yoshi, you got this. Or maybe not. <laughs> It's all right, Yosh. Love how in Mario Golf they can part from downtown. Come on, Mario, you got this. I love Yoshi's dancing. Look at that Yoshi hopping. He's on. Yeah. On December 28th of last year, I have 380 subscribers. And was at 388 by the time we hit uh, New Year's Day. Oops. By the time we hit New Year's Day. And sort of flatlined for a little bit looking at I was at 400. By the end of the season, I was at 439 subscribers, 440 subscribers, really. That's a bad drive right there. Now 439 subscribers, it really plateaued, it really flatlined. It won't be till August, which makes sense, come to think about, because of course that's when the seasons heat up, that's when uh, football's back for Highland and the Yellow Jackets. Looking at it, when did I hit 500? Must have been in between October 29th and November 6th. I'm using Social Blade, by the way, so don't know how to find, like, detail, what do you call it? detailed numbers of your YouTube channel. Ooh, that wasn't good. Come on, Yosh. I wouldn't be celebrating Yoshi. Come on, Mario, chip it in. Ooh, so close. I'm gonna do the bogey. Please, Luigi, miss it. Or maybe not. All right. That's what I hate about this game. It's a double bogey. Oh, poor Yoshi. Can't really be mad at Yoshi. He's so funny. But yeah, we. Hit 525 subscribers by Christmas Eve, and of course, just a few days before Christmas, we were at 518 subscribers, and we've been stuck at 525 subscribers for the last, for a while now, that's for sure. And just to see how far I've gone is really impressive, and I thank you all for that. I mean, clearly I have one. I was thinking to myself last night, you know what, I got one of the best jobs out there. I get paid to yell about sports, as I say on my Twitter bio. <laughs> don't follow us on Twitter at WHBW Sports if you don't. Follow me on Twitter at TommyMaroon2. I highly suggest that you do. Oh, good. Chip there by Luigi. But Mario's got to get this one to go. Mmm. Oh no, that doesn't have enough. I'm done. This is ridiculous. I'm not good. It's all right, it's all right. We'll simply close out the window. I won't play a game like Mario Superstar Baseball. Good old Mario Superstar Baseball. As you see, Birdo and Luigi dance. Oh no, the Ravens scored another touchdown. Of course they did. Something's telling me the Browns aren't winning the division. Hope Miami can come back, but it looks very unlikely. When did I hit 500 subscribers? I don't know. I'm a plot, or I'm on pace for 
526 subscribers by what do by one do you call it? I want to be Luigi against Mario. Why not? 526 subscribers around tomorrow. It's been really good. User summary. Looking at that right now. I've been stuck at 525 for the last few days since Christmas Eve to be exact. Well, why not? The Luigi Gentleman against Mario Heroes. Regular difficulty. Where shall we go? Mario Palace, why not? Stay away from Chain Chomp. I got Chain Chomp plush for Christmas, so there is that. <laughs> I notice on days where we have games, my video views definitely go up. We're going to have future projections out here. When shall I hit 1,000 subscribers? Not till 2026, according to Social Blade. I don't know how accurate that is. When shall I hit 600? About six months from now. So there is that. How long will I get till 600? By the way, new year, new goal. So for those that are watching, the goal is to reach, uh, what do you call it, 600 subscribers by the end of the sports season. That is referring to both Highland and Baldwin Wallace. I don't know what, what type of season that would be, but regardless, I don't care as long as if I get 600 subscribers just before kickoff. For the football season, I think we're playing Hudson again week one. And we're playing Wittenberg week one in Ball and Wallace in D3. So as long as if we can get 600 subscribers by that point onwards, I'd be very joyful as it's a brother showdown. Mario might win that. Ooh, almost hit Chain Chomp. And Mario goes down swinging. Did I strike out this? I think I did. Subscriber milestone. I don't know when, but honestly, it's been a good year. A lot of comments. We, I decided to make a lot of polls out there because I can. Oh, Yoshi Inside Out's that one to show up. Trying to find stuff. Ah, uh, Diddy calling inside out that one. Chain Chomp's asleep, huh? Ooh, ripped that one hard and ripped it right to him. Looking at user videos, of course. My most viewed video is a Highland Copley game from my first season of doing this. That was the fourth quarter game. Ooh, good. We got Pianta trying in. Second most viewed video is, of course, the Mount Union Miracle. Oh, come on, Pianta. You're better than that. I'm trying to find stuff. Stats for YouTube channels. 2020. I'm sorry about this, folks. Oh, well, uh, the only 50 most relevant videos would be number one, the Highland Fremont Ross game from the COVID postseason. Don't know what that's doing there. Oh, man, I gotta go up against Bowser and Donkey Kong. And thank you, Lord, that one's caught by Yoshi. Man, can't believe those Ravens are destroying the Dolphins. i just like to say the Cleveland Browns beat them. Of course, you know what? We've been talking enough about my channel. Why not talk more about the Cleveland Browns? They're in the playoffs for the first time since the COVID season as mentioned earlier. My goodness, what a time to be alive here in Cleveland. 8-1. and one. Oh, What do you call it? 8-1 and one record at home. Best record for the Browns in the franchise history at home. And it's just been a great time to be a Browns fan. You can see me bouncing up and down because I'm so darn excited. My heavens. 
It's just such a great time because the Browns are winning with Joe Flacco out of all people. Yeah, Joe Flacco. Now, I must warn you uh, for my talk show, the Time Room Sports Show on WCTV. If you don't watch WCTV, I highly suggest that you do. And if you haven't subscribed to WCTV on their YouTube channel, please do so now. Um, but anyways... Oh, I'm going to bless your eardrums, as I will say on YouTube. Bless your eardrums uh, on Tuesday, I believe, which is my next episode. I'm going to bless your eardrums with a new original song about the Cleveland Browns, which was not stolen from what the bodies hit the floor. I'll tell you that. It should be a good one. Hopefully you got a kick out of it, as I think Toadsworth is up. Toadsworth and Mario Super Soldier are so good with this slow Bugs Bunny changeup. Oh my, Baby Mario, what are you doing? Baby Mario, what are you doing? That should have been the third out of the inning. Look at that. Toadsworth rips the right to Baby Mario. He wasn't ready for it. He's literally seeing stars. Toadsworth delivers with a double. Back to the top of the order with Yosh. Come on, Yoshi. That ought to be two runs. If it were fair. <laughs> that ought to be two runs. Ooh, Yoshi thought about going down second. Oh man, Tua just got sacked. Can't happen, the Browns have got to win. The division, I made a bunch of memes about the Browns winning the division. Oh, go Yoshi. Another player got stunned out there. It's just meant to be, man. I mean, the Browns are supposed to win. I mean, the Browns, we have the best striker, and we're not going to win the division. One of the best strikers in the league, and we're not going to win the division. That makes no sense. No sense at all. It's going to be rather such a travesty. Come on, baby Mario gets stunned again. No. Yeah. We're going to add everything out here. 50 highest rated videos. Checking it out. Basically, every video that's had over or that's had a bunch of likes compared to the other ones because, well, mainly due to the fact that uh, they got rid of the like button, of course. Or dislike buying, beg your pardon. You know, looking at future projections, we already looked at that. Uh, user summary. Uh, nothing much, still 525. So, anyways, just been a while. I won't go to YouTube Studio in a minute on my phone. Of course, I'm not showing you my phone, I'm showing you. Ooh, nice effort. And there goes my perfect game. I always want to go out there and throw a perfect game. At least that's just what I believe. Doing live stream. 278 people tuned in to me. How about that? So that's how people uh, tune in to me. They type in Highland Hornets basketball. That means a lot. And some people just type in Tommy Maroon. They probably know who I am by now. <laughs> You know, looking at other stuff, uh, what was my most viewed video this week? Yep, the Highland versus Brunswick boys basketball game, of course. It was a very successful season for both Highland and Baldwin Wallace. Of course, Highland made it to the regional finals for the first time in 10 years, which was very fun to see. And... Just to be able to broadcast those games. And of course, we can't talk about Highland without talking about the girls' soccer team. Wow, what a catch, Dry Bones. We cannot talk about that team without, or the Highlanders, without talking about their nothing short of unbelievable girls' soccer season. But with so many great characters out there. Ooh, that was lucky. So many great players, so many. People that do such a great job out there. Wow, he just wasted two of them. Now always he strikes out swinging. 
We won the districts for the first time ever and won our conference for the first time in three years since the uh, seniors were, uh, not juniors, but when the seniors were freshmen. Uh, Pianta's gonna strike out again, isn't he? He can't. He doesn't. May hit a bloop single. Just didn't hit a bloop single. Now, of course, in 2023, we won the what do you call, excuse me for one second. Just need to get something, there we go. But yeah, we won the league in baseball for the first time in 11 years. I think we had some success in track as well. But yeah, we did win in baseball, including that dramatic 10-0 victory over the, who do you call them? Oh, Toad, you can't strike out. And the dramatic 10-0 win over the Copley Indians that clinched the American Conference where we saw a breakout athlete, Casey, who started in baseball as a freshman and, of course, did phenomenal in football. We saw a school record in points with that 88-14 beatdown on the Copley Indians. Really, Copley was the team we really took care of the most this season. The school that was really the school that we just showed no mercy to. And, of course, we've seen so many cool things new. Girls soccer coach, of course, Coach Zufall, who just, who just did incredible in his first season. I, I got a good feeling he's going to stay here for a long time. Oh, Daddy Kong going to get there. And Donkey Kong's going to get a double. Sorry about that, folks. Yeah, and of course, Coach Huska, Taren Huska taking over. As the head coach for uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh that's foul, thank heavens. Taking over for the who do you call him? Boys basketball team. And so far it's been alright. Five and three on the season. We lost last Friday night to the Avon Eagles. We weren't on the call for that, but I would love to see that. Of course, next game on WHBW and first broadcast of the 2024 season. Will be Wednesday when Baldwin Wallace action returns. We will take on the Mountain Union Purple Raiders in a game of women's basketball. Of course, it was a successful season for BW as well. We had a few national champions, of course, for uh, wrestling, including Mike Petrella. You might recognize the name Paul Petrella from the 1978 Stag Bowl team. He was the defensive lineman on that team the year we won it. And was the ABC defensive player of the game because the game was broadcasted was broadcast on ABC. But his son Mike won national won national championship in wrestling. So there was that for all Americans, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, you had Hope Murphy, the runner, who just did phenomenal this year. It was just quite the treat to see her run. Wish we could have seen her run, but of course, it's hard to cover cross country here on a YouTube channel because you got to run all over the place. We've seen who else? We have also seen the baseball team make it to the final four. Unprecedented for the Yellow Jackets baseball team. Coach Brian Harrison just doing a phenomenal job, magnificent job. My only regret with the baseball team is that we don't get to broadcast them here. I've talked with Jeff on that before. He says that there are two issues, of course. Number one, I'm too loud. Number two, there's nowhere to put me. So there is that, unfortunately. Which hopefully one day we will be able to do it. Of course, for me, I got to work on WBWC this year, and hopefully I'll have a radio shift. It was going to be from Thursdays 1 to 4, but I got a class Thursdays in between that time. So I talked with Arda at the radio station, asked her, hey, do you know when I can get a potential radio shift outside of that? <laughs> hopefully I'm able to. 
Get back, Luigi. Oh, never mind. What? That was odd. I mean, Luigi gets retired, but still. Nice hit by Shy Guy. That's off the chain, Chomp. And of course, you yeah, had the women's basketball team do something they haven't done. Or do something that they've always done, excuse me. Do something that they've always done. And that is make the NCAA tournament. Coach Jerry Harris just phenomenal during her time here at Ball Walls. This is her 34th season. She's only 673 games, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a lot, that's for sure. I've lost count, but she'll be closing in on 700 in a minute. You know that for a fact. Uh-oh, Mario just hit a home run, I think. Yep, there goes my shutout. I like you got there. Takes his younger brother deep. Don't forget to Mario Baseball, Mario's a power hitter. Here we go again. The quest for a nine inning game may not happen. But going back to that, we did lose in the first round, but still it was a great season yet again. Won in the OAC tournament to John Carroll. May have lost to Marietta, but still just phenomenal. And of course, in my opinion, the biggest story of the 2023 season for both Highland and Ball Walls. The biggest story out on WHBW is without question Anthony Kendall's story. Now for those that don't know, Anthony Kendall was a cornerback for the Ball Walls Yellow Jackets number one back in 2022. In fact, he spent like five seasons here. One of them was a COVID season, so he's granted another season by the NCAA. But still, spent so much time out there. Oh man, Miami commit another turnover. Tua is looking horrible today. And the Ravens are going to win the division. That's the worst part. Ravens can't win the division. It's got to be us. It's got to be the Browns. I'm watching Browns, or no, not Browns, Ravens, Dolphins. Looks like Baltimore is going to win the division. Ooh, he just gunned that one right by me. Why would Toad be stealing? I don't know. Ooh, rip that one foul. But anyways, Anthony Kendall caught the eye of some NFL scouts. That should be a run. Oh, that's extras. He caught the eye of some scouts, mainly the Browns, I think. Went undrafted. He's like, you know what? My story's not done yet. I still got some stuff to do. Oh, get back, get back, get back, get back. Get back, Dry Bones. Get back, Dry Bones. He's not going to get back in time. Oh, he did. Thank you. Makes it with the Tennessee Titans. Is on their practice squad. Eventually makes a 53-man roster. Just an incredible story. First ball on show jacket in over 35 years, I think, that made it to the, what do you call it, National Football League. It's just been great to see him. Succeed, ooh, dry bone showing off his wheels. It's just been incredible to see that man do well. And the thing that I broadcast him, the thing that I got to interview him is just incredible. He is such a cool guy. Everybody loves him. Everybody cares for him. And he's just such a good man, that's for sure. So yeah, huge congratulations to him. Of course, so much. What else happened this year? Volleyball, we 5 p did in the American Conference. What else? One in girls tennis, one in boys golf, one in girls golf. Nothing new for us. We got such a great system out there. Try and gun them out, Yoshi. Such great systems out there. Of course, what else was there? We talked about football, and my brother finally got into high school sports. Took him a while. I told him, hey, you're going to love high school sports. I told him that all the time when he was growing up. He's like, why, Tommy? That makes no sense. They're boring. They're not fun. And then sure enough, he's in the marching band. Comes home every night with a raspy voice. I'm like, I told you. I told you. <laughs> 
So that's the story about that. Ooh, tumbling. Ooh, he got the out. I didn't think he got the out. Time to stretch. Take me out to the ball game and all that fun stuff. <laughs> Good hit, but that goes right to baby Mario. And of course, hopefully, um, oh yeah, I forgot the lacrosse team and uh, what do you call it, uh, men's lacrosse team. We made it to the OAC finals. Give John Carroll a rough battle, but in the end, only one could come out on top, and that one was not us, sadly. 6-5 win for the streaks. Football, we went six and four, which was pretty impressive. A little bit of a back, a setback from last year, which was seven and three, which was a setback from the year before. It's seven and two. Oh, wicked curve. Luigi's running around, celebrating and dancing. But now you got Bowser and Donkey Kong. Ooh, he could have killed that one. Of course, we're asking you all a bunch of questions, and it's cool to see our fans interact out there. Why did it give me... Yeah, uh, Diddy Kong rather than Yoshi? I don't know. Cool to see our fans interact with the questions. All of them are true, by the way. All the trivia questions I ask about the ball and walls, yellow jackets, and uh, Highland Hornets. Now, of course, we saw so much growth over the past year. But well, most importantly, the kids did fantastic. And it could have been a year where everyone could have been like, oh, this year was horrible, we did terrible, we sucked, whatever. No, we all did great. There wasn't a team that, that I just dreaded to comment this year. Everybody was fun to do. And that's so rare to say, but it's true. What else was there? I mean, the best part, I just love the fact that I get visiting fans telling me, hey, Tommy, you do a great job. We listen to you whenever our team's on the road. I don't care if this is Highland Ball and Wallace, this is opponents. But just to see them do that is very nice of them. Ooh, nice catch, Bane Marley. That makes up for the error. I mean, it really does mean the world to me. It really does. And again, baby Mario on a catch. If not for that, uh, second inning you see right there. I'd be losing 4-2. That thing went foul. We're just looking to go the distance. Is he going to go the distance? Ooh, thank you. No, Dry Bones. What are you doing, Dry Bones? What are you doing, Dry Bones? You're going to give up a triple. Great. Anyways, as I was saying, just to see the players, especially on our side as well, Highland Ball and Wallace, just for them to give, give them the time, give them the time to say, hey, Tommy, thank you. And to interview me, same with Coach Hilbert and Coach Harrison, Coach Howe, Coach Herrer, of course, she's a legend. Coach Huska, Coach Madison, Gibbons, everybody, Grissom, Brent, Merck, Fultz, Wyken, Zufa, Ayers, just everybody, really, that I got to be with. It just means a lot to me. It really does. Turn that one in there. And one more just for good measure. And that's your ball game. Oh. Hopefully this will be your ball game. It is your ball game. I win. I'm so good at Mario Superstar Baseball. <laughs> Luigi wins MVP. Who else? He went the distance. Gave up 10 hits and two runs, including back to back jacks, but doesn't matter. He still won the game, anyways. Scorebook, how many strikeouts did he have? 17, my goodness. Mario only had four. That was an impressive day. Everyone had a hit for Mario except Waluigi and 
Noki, everyone had a hit for us except really Pianta, Shy Guy. That's it. Now loading. Yeah. Just to see some of the players, even those that have graduated, like Reese, for example, who said, Hey, Tommy, you, you did great calling the games for me. I'm like, no, you did great for doing the games, playing the games, for heaven's sake. I mean, it's just great to see everybody get together, this community of Highland High School and Baldwin-Wallace University. It really is great. I mean, I'm just tickled, happy, ecstatic, everything about this team, about this school, these schools, I should say. We're going to close out with one Mario Kart Wii thing. We're going to be Funky Kong because Funky Kong is the GOAT. We're going to do Daisy Circuit. Yeah, I thank you so much for a great 2023. I mean, once again, you don't know how much this means to me, folks. And of course, I've been talking with my good friend, Zach, who goes to my church. And we went to high school together, of course. But uh, we've been trying to get Weemify and custom tracks on Dolphin. He also has a Dolphin emulation. I mean, it is cool to see that in Mario Kart and Nintendo do that. I think Nintendo and Steam have even endorsed Dolphin, if I'm not mistaken. I hate the power block. Did I ever tell you that? Hate that the D-pad isn't responding, but oh well. Look at Funky. Yeah, 525 subscribers. I'll be honest, my goal is to reach a thousand sometime before I retire. Or if by any crazy chance I got the my dream job of being the voice of the Guardians, Cavs, or Browns, which I highly doubt will happen. But even so, if I'm still 10, 20 years from now, still doing Highland Ball and Wallace and still hosting this, or still running this YouTube channel called WHBW, I would not be mad. I really would not. I mean, this has just been a, or this has been my dream come true. I remember eighth grade, uh, my science teacher, he asked us all what you want to do when you grow up. I, it hit me, I wanted to make a YouTube channel dedicated to Highland Sports. Well, I did that, I've done that, I guess. And this is not goodbye, folks. Uh, this might be goodbye to my lead, however. It's not goodbye, I'm not leaving, I'm not retiring. Hopefully, God willingly, I have a lot more years left in my arsenal. That's the intent, at least. Come on, pass Peach. Ah, oh, there it goes. All right. It's all right. It's all right, right? Sixth place. Well, that sucks. Why? Well, I can still take. I can still take it. I got absolutely screwed by that blue shell. I'm going to quit and try it again. Let's try it again, folks. Whoops, not 50. 50 is bad. 150. Live life to the extreme. Like what Poochie says, always recycle. To the extreme. <laughs> Good episode of The Simpsons right there. Let's try it again. First Daisy. Circuit's a great racetrack. Ah, oh, not the Thundercloud. Worst item in the history of Mario Kart. I think it's worse than the coin. It's the only item I know that harms you rather than helps you. Ah, oh, of course. Inconveniently, we met. Oh, no. Ooh, that was lucky. I thought I was going to run right into that bob -omb for sure. Yeah. Of course, this has been a dream I've wanted to do since third grade. I remember third grade, I've wanted to either run some crazy businesses, which knowing my knowledge of business, I know I'd probably fail at that. <laughs> um, or be an announcer. Come on, all right. 
There we go. Ooh, that was lucky. Ooh, I got a mushroom too. I use that mushroom. You can really have much better at Mario Kart when it comes to the what do you call it uh, GameCube controller rather than the Wii Wheel Wii Mode. At least it's much easier to control it with the GameCube controller Wii Pro Con. You can see my Wii Mode got disconnected. I don't even know how to set up your Wii Mode. That was probably the best place to hit me. Yeah, the Wii Mode. It's all motion based and sometimes it's hard to turn. Blooper items are never fun. I win it nonetheless. All right. My computer's at 41%. Hopefully that'll last me for the rest of the races. I mean, 2023 was great. 2024 will hopefully be great. The goal once again is to reach 600 subscribers by the end of the season. By the end of the entire season, or by my last broadcast of the spring, of course, this YouTube channel, how did that hit me, I don't know. This YouTube channel, very dormant in June, July, and November. No, not November, what am I saying? June, July, and August, but mainly July, because sometimes in June we got something cooking for ball and loss like we did last year with our incredible Final Four team, which was just, how did that happen? Our incredible Final Four team that was just ungodly and just did phenomenal to say the least. that bullet bill. Pray for a bam shock dodge. Alright, couldn't ask for a better place. Oh, of course the blooper. Thought I was gonna get a good item like a mega mushroom. I think the blooper slows you down a little bit. And if, when you play the AI, it does what do you call it? It affects their driving. Oh, like a funky go. Come on, fun. And we'll never see that banana again. Whoa, what? Ooh, that was lucky. If someone that's near me is going to eat a fake item box, that was Peach that ate the fake item box. I'm winning because I'm so bad at Mario Kart. Where'd DK go? DK, Donkey Kong. Funky Kong is never mentioned in the DK rap. I don't even know if he's in Donkey Kong 64. Everyone thought Chunky Kong was dead until they saw the Mario movie. <laughs> That's one of the issues with this. Hate those shocky things. Well, I had no issues today with the shocky things. Oh, of course, I got fake iron boxes. Fake iron boxes are horrible in this game because they can't do anything for a red shell. Wow. Did you see that hit off the pole right there? Oh, I win again. I am very good at Mario Kart once again. Now we're going Maple Tree Way. This live stream won't last that long. Not even an hour.
What are you doing for New Year's, folks? I know what I'm doing. I'm going to my grandmother and grandfather's house. Or my grandparents' house because it's my grandmother's birthday today. She's turning 83. So I wish my grandmother a happy birthday. Yeah, we always do that New Year's Eve, always go over. It's a lot of fun. We usually stay till 10.30. Usually when we go over to our grandparents' house, it's usually, you know, uh, up till 5 or 6 when we leave. New Year's Eve, it's always 10.30 or something like that. It's what makes New Year's Eve so special. And of course, you got the college football semifinals. Alabama, Michigan, and who else? Most other than Bama, Michigan, Washington, Texas. Of course, Washington, Texas. My brother Joey, he's a Washington Huskies fan now. He got into them this year mainly because of the fact that they're winning. But still. Maple Treeway, did you know this, folks? Maple Treeway is my favorite racetrack in the game. Ooh, that was lucky. Move it, Toad. Move it, Toad. Oh, I guess I'll have to move you. I've been able to do the Grumble Volcano glitch. Of course, that's the next race track. I did it on here before. I've got like 50 seconds on. Whoops, hit the wrong button. Ooh, I thought that was gonna hurt me. That lap took me 62 seconds. You always go much slower when you're playing the AI, I've noticed. That's one thing I don't like about Mario Kart 7 and 8. I love Mario Kart 7 and 8 and 8 Deluxe. Don't get me wrong, they're great games, but you can't see the time. How fast you're going. That was a staple in every Mario Kart game. What? I was turning. Unless, I don't, unless I'm in third place. Come on. Move it. Move it, fat wiggler. And now I'm eating dust. A blooper, yes, a blooper, my favorite item in this game. Hope you can tell I'm being sarcastic. And I lost. Once I can take... Oh, man, that was lucky. I almost took a blue shell right there. I probably would have rage quit had that happened. That was super lucky. Did the Dolphins score a touchdown? I think they did. That's good. <sighs> Maybe some things are meant to be. The Dolphins are going for two. There's 13.57 left in regulation. They're down 35.19 right now. Well, if you just got introduced to WHBW and, th and thought to yourself, wow, this does Mario Kart and Mario video games, you'd be horribly mistaken. But if you thought this was going to cover some Highland and Baldwin Wallace and OHSAA and NCAA action, well, then you're not wrong. You're not wrong one bit. I'm to try to do the rock hop. What the heck? And I feel that miserably. Thank God it's only the first lap. Or maybe not a bullet bill, but I can run with that. Ooh, that might have been the best thing. I was going to have a one-way trip towards out of bounds. Or towards off-road, I should say. I just remember what Nathaniel Bandy said about this. It's a cool track, but by the time you reach the third lap, I remember he said, yeah, half the trick is gone, or something like that. In his top 10 hardest Mario Kart Wii videos, or top 10 hardest Mario Kart Wii tracks. There was one major issue, however. He was on automatic. 
he, he said that in video years later looking back and he's like, oh my god, I was on automatic. Why? And to be fair, I'm pretty sure we all did automatic when we were beginning Mario Kart Wii. So you can't get mad at him for that. But he is right, half the track is gone by the third lap. So glad they bought this back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but I wish you could do the infamous glitch. Where you drive off, where you drive behind and backwards and drive on the rock for three full laps. Ooh, we got someone. Alright, triple bananas, that helps my lot. Finger. Alright, that also helps my screen. Uh, that doesn't help. I play conservatively. Ready for the win, and win it I do. Alright, Toad will be denied first place. <laughs> Funky Kong humming a song. I don't know what song it is. Well, folks, I think I have to go now. My planet needs me. As Poochie said it best before he died on the way back to his home planet. Ooh, I got a star for that. And I want the special cup I know. So until next time, ooh, I got the quacker too. So until next time, I'm Tommy Marin. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year, everybody. Enjoy 2024, and I will see you Wednesday for more action right here on WHB.